How's it going fam? It's Erica with Not Your Average EDC and today we are going to look at three very cool knives that are currently some of my favorites and I just wanted to share them with you and then also talk a little bit about like that carnivore diet thing that I was talking about like a month ago. People have been asking how it's going and I'm literally making my breakfast right now which is a bunch of chicken and steak tips. <laughs> so um, I figured while I'm cooking and just kind of hanging out here we could talk a little bit about knives and meat. Why not, right? Um, okay, let's do the knives first in case some of you aren't interested in the diet thing. So recently I acquired this Hitch and Timber little slip for my GEC. It's not focusing, of course. There we go. And I wanted to share this with you guys because I think it's actually a really cool slip. Um, Hitchin Timber, they do not know who I am. This was not sent to me. I paid for this with my own money. I just needed a little slip for this bull nose here because um, I felt that it was collecting too much lint and stuff in my pocket, and I really didn't want that working its way into the actual knife. So this is my GEC bull nose that I've had for quite some time. A really fantastic knife. I absolutely adore this. It has a little Mavericks custom Ultim bead on it. Come on, please focus. There we go. And I just think this looks really nice, and um, I, I really enjoy carrying it. So I picked up this Hitch and Timber Cadet slip. This is the size for the farmer, but it worked really well for my GEC knife. I just like shoved it on in there. It fits perfectly. Like there's no way that's falling out. It's very much stuck in there. Um, and I think this looks really good together. I'm not sold on the paracord yet. This didn't come with it. I just threw it on there so that when this is in my pocket, I can pull it up easily. But I think I want to put leather on instead. I was just trying to like create some contrast, but I don't think these match very well. So I'll probably put some dark leather on there and, um... Yeah, this slip is really nice so far. I, I really like it. I need to take my steak tip out. Excuse me. I really... I like medium rare, or maybe even rare. I feel like if you're cooking it any more than medium rare, you're messed up. Alright, he's gonna rest. Um, what do we have next? Next we have... My Chris Reeves Small Sabenza 31 with my Carta inlays. Oh my god. I am so sorry that the camera never focuses, guys. Like, I try. I try doing the hand thing. There we go. Just doesn't work all the time. And I just wanted to share this one with you guys because you know that I have had a love-hate relationship with this model in particular with the inlays, and I've always been trying to figure out, like, what what configuration I like most. Like, do I like a pocket clip? Do I like a lanyard? Uh, and I have found with this particular one, I actually really like running it with a filler tab, no pocket clip, and no lanyard. I feel like it's really clean looking. I did take the lanyard tube out, and I actually just really like the looks of this. I like the feel of it in hand. I like uh, it feels much better for me without the pocket clip. I feel like the inlays just, I'm able to bond with them more and connect with them. It just feels nicer in the hand without the pocket clip. And the, the filler tab, I feel like it looks really nice. It's just like a very clean presentation. I think it looks really good with the snail trails. And this is really how I'm enjoying running this right now. So if you... I don't know if you've ever thought about putting a filler tab in and wondering how it feels without the pocket clip and how it looks. This is how it looks. I think it's a very clean looking knife. I think it looks better without the pocket clip and the inlays look, um, they just look better. Hey Steve, if you're watching, hi, you just texted me. Super Steel Steve. How's it going, my brother? Guys, if you don't know who he is, please go watch his channel. Go follow him on Rumble, Rumble if he still has his channel over there. He recently got into making knives, and they are freaking awesome. So go check out Super Steel Steve. Go check out his work. Really cool guy. 
Um, he knows what he's doing. All American-made stuff. Sorry, I'm flipping my chickens right now. These smell very, very good. Okay. Yeah, I think the name of his knife company right now is like maybe Kalari Customs or something. I don't know. Um, he's making incredible knives, so check him out on Instagram. You know the deal. Okay. The last one that I want to show is the Emerson Poe Boy, which I ended up taking the clip off of as well, and I just think this looks, again, better without a clip. This technically is Nicole's. It was mine, and then I gifted it to her, and then she lost it for a little bit, and it was in one of her shoes in her closet, and that kind of spooked me a little bit because this is a very expensive build, a very rare knife, so I was like, maybe that should come stay at my place for a little bit because I don't want it to get lost, and she was like, you're an Indian giver. I'm like, yes, I am. <laughs> it's just too expensive to be misplacing and too cool, right? Like, knock on wood, I've never lost a knife, so... When she misplaced this, I was like, that's a very expensive build to be misplacing, Nicole Dodge. Uh, so right now it's kind of like living with me, and I, and we're not sure where it's going to go from there on out. But look at how cool this looks, guys. This is a Poe Boy conversion done by Andrew over at Fast Light Ones. Um, if you want more information on his work, I have a whole video like dedicated to him in the Poe Boy conversion. So... Um, that should be under my knife reviews playlist, so if you want more info, uh, go check that out. But this is, this is called a Poe Boy conversion, and basically every single thing about the Emerson Mini A100 is altered to be more, um, customized, and a lot of people just like this configuration better because it's less bulky and less rugged feeling than the original so like i have an original here this is like a pretty stock mini a100 the only thing i did is put a peat gray thumb disc on there a monster thumb disc which is like 25 percent larger than the original of course we're not going to focus but yeah this is kind of your typical mini a100 build from factory with a factory clip and stuff and some people just want a more refined version of this knife um Realistically, this feels much more like a Sebenza type knife with this Poe Boy conversion. Like, these feel very similar in action, fit and finish, hardware, all that stuff. So if you're looking to refine your Mini A100 and you have the money, a Poe Boy conversion is a great way to do that. Um, Andrew basically uh, blasts the, the disc. Oh my god. Please. Wow. This is ridiculous. There we go. So he blasts the disc. He switches all the hardware out to flathead satin screws. He puts a titanium blasted bolster on. He blasts all of the innards, like the liner. He puts your choice of micarta scales on the rest of the knife. Hey, these are called calluses, and those happen when you actually fucking do something with your life. Just a heads up. Um, and then you can get a lanyard hole, obviously. This is a blasted titanium backspacer, which I told him he didn't have to do, and then he did it out of the kindness of his heart and did not charge me. This was way back in the day when I was really doing a lot of knife stuff on Instagram. Um, and then the, all of these parts here, the, the bolsters and the, the scales are contoured, they're like rounded, so, um, instead of being completely flat, like on the stock scales, these are completely flat G10, he has them kind of like a dome, rounded, uh, not sure if it'll pick it up. You have little, like, scallops here. It's just, it basically just turns this into a super premium knife. Come on. Oh, yeah, maybe that'll, maybe that'll show you. 
See how they're rounded? Everything's rounded. I believe you can also get bearings put on some knives. I didn't, so this just has the stock washers, which are extremely smooth once you break them in. Um, and he can blast the clip for you and stuff if you want. I actually just took the clip off because, again, I feel like this knife is just so... It's, like, so beautiful and it just feels really good in hand without the clip. This just reminds me of a more traditional type knife for some reason, so I actually really like running it without the clip, and it feels just so good in the hand when you're actually using it. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to show you some of those, like, knives that I really, really enjoy out of my collection. I've noticed lately that I like running them without clips, which is also intriguing to myself. I don't know why I'm going through a phase of not wanting to run a pocket clip, but, like, I've really been enjoying this. I really enjoy, um, these two knives without clips. I just think they look very beautiful and clean. Some people think that they look like they're actually missing something, but to me, I don't know. I just, I just really like the look of these. So, yeah, just, just something I wanted to share with you guys and look at some knives. It's really hard sometimes for me to make content daily when I don't have any new knives to put on the channel. Um, so I'm sorry that sometimes we're looking at the same things over and over again. I'm doing my best. I refuse to get monetized or sponsored or anything by YouTube, and I refuse to get stuff sent in from other people unless it's from, like, the States or a reputable person. Like, you guys know the whole Chinese stance. So, like... Sometimes we just are looking at the same stuff until I have updates on other things. We do have some knives coming in for testing. Like, Steve is sending me a knife. Um, I don't know if it's a kitchen knife. I don't know what kind of knife it is. He didn't tell me. He's just He, he made me a knife and he's sending it in. So we'll be able to look at that and test it and review it. We'll be able to... Um, uh, Jeremy from Bumblebee EDC is sending some stuff in, I think. So we can test and review that. And a friend that I recently made on this platform, I will not say his name because I don't know if he wants me to, he's sending me a Spyderco knife for testing and review. So we're, you know, we're chugging along. We're, we're getting a grip on things. Um, the more the channel grows, the more people will want to send things in. And people have always wanted to send things in. I just haven't accepted it up until now because I felt bad, I guess, but you guys are, like, begging for more content and more real-life testing and sharpening, so I kind of just had to cave and be like, it's either accept the Chinese pieces of shit or presents from people that I actually like. We went with presents from people we actually like. Also, this video may not show up for some of you guys because I swear, and now YouTube is, like, flagging it, so I'm sorry. We're on the struggle bus, but I need to go eat some some meat in my life. Uh, I've been feeling the best I've ever felt on that diet. I'm literally basically just eating meat at this point. A little bit of fruits and veggies, still really just going with the meat. The mental clarity is out of this world. I have really leaned out. Um, I feel incredible. My appetite is way more controlled and not as... I'm just not as hungry all the time as I was when I was eating different foods. Um, emotional stability, way better than it's ever been. I actually... I actually... I, I recently unblocked somebody that I really disliked for a really long time, and they're always bitching about how I blocked them, so I unblocked them, which is, like, a huge deal for me because I'm really sensitive about certain things, but, like, we're getting our emotions together, not being as sensitive. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. I feel fantastic, guys. I really do. I feel like um, carbs kill. Carbs are not good for us. We eat too many of them, and Amer America. America has an obesity issue, and I think eating more protein and fruits and veggies is the way to go. Uh, I will make a more in-depth video about that moving forward, but just wanted to give a quick update because we have some delicious steak tips to eat. So I'm going to go eat these and then I need to go to work. I love you guys. I need to go use your shit. Hold on. Go use your shit. Whoosh. Learn how to sharpen your knives. Um, 
I will see you guys when I go to your mom's house. I love you all very much. I will see you soon. Take care.